I busted some of the most secret myths that you guys gave me in the brand new pet simulator auction update. With the brand new update, we got tons of stuff, including the auction, and I also asked you guys on my Discord server what myths you guys wanted me to bust. And you guys gave me some pretty good ones. So if you guys want to give me some, go ahead, join my Discord server, link in the description. But let's go ahead and get started. For the first myth, it says that Titanic pets cannot be auctioned. I've not tested this out, so let's go ahead and go to the Pro Trading Plaza. Why not? And test out if this is true, because I want to know if it is actually true. Now, not only am I curious with Titanic versions, but I also want to test out other versions. So let's go ahead and go list our pets. And let me try listing a normal pet, because I've never seen one, and I don't know if you can... So let's go list it for a thing. And it says you can only auction huge and titanic pets. So yeah, I think that shows that you can auction titanic pets. But you cannot auction anything other than huge and titanics. Also, why does the titanic or huge popcat look like that, bro? Anyways, the next myth says if you auction a huge for one gem, you will keep the huge when sold. So let's go ahead and try auctioning a huge pet. And I guess we could do like a hell rock or something. So here we go. Let's go list a pet. And then let's go ahead and do a huge. Why not one gem and see what we get after it actually goes into the thing. Oh, somebody's bidding a huge scarecrow cat for one gem. Somebody put 28 billion gems. Let's go ahead and actually bid at 30 billion. Why not? Maybe we'll be able to buy it at that low of a price. Also, another thing I want to test out is if you bid 30 billion or you're the latest bid, can you bid again? So let's go ahead and try putting 31.5 billion. Am I allowed to do that? No, it already says I am the top bidder. So you don't have to bid twice if you're already at the top. So uh, yeah, let's see if we win it. And it looks like, yeah, we won it for 30 billion. Nice. Now, supposedly, when my golden huge Hellrock comes up and we sell it, we should be able to get the full refund. Or I mean the huge Hellrock. I only have 13 Hell Rocks that are signed by me, so this will be my 14th one if this myth is true. It looks like it's going to be getting sold for 14.2 billion, which is not that bad of a price. But hey, let's see if we get it back. We have 13. So after the sales, we should have 14. I don't know. But there we go. It just sold. And let's see, do we have 14? No, we still only have 13. So that myth is a bust. The next myth says that the traveling merchant is actually not in the map anymore, but outside of the map. Let's go ahead and actually test this out. Right now, I don't even see the traveling merchant here. I have noticed it is actually not here. Here, let's go ahead and try going into free cam. And this should help us move around the map a lot easier. And let's see. Wait, is that the traveling merchant? No way, bro. That is literally the traveling merchant right there. I think this might be the secret merchant, though. I could be wrong, but... Uh, it does not look like it's in the map anymore. Yeah, it is literally outside of the map right there. So that myth is true. The next myth says selling a rainbow huge uh, gives you a titanic capybara. If you guys don't know, the titanic capybara and titanic lucky cat have both been added to the index right over here. We have both of them and I am getting my titanic red balloon cat like very soon. That'll probably be what my next video is about. But anyways, let's go ahead and try listing a huge pet that is a rainbow, I guess. I mean, I guess let's go ahead and just like sign a random pet. I, I don't know. Let's go sign this one. And let's go ahead and try putting it up for auction. So if you go ahead and do it for, let's see, one gem. And I don't know. I, I don't know how much I have to sell it for. You know what? Let's go ahead and sell it for like 20 billion. Because I feel like people will buy it at least 20 billion. Because in the fact, it's also sign and let's see if we get any bids on it and hypothetically whenever we sell this we're supposed to get a titanic capybara okay there we go our rainbow huge hell rock has finally went up for sale and oh my god we got 31 billion on it already holy 34 billion let's see how much it's gonna sell for plus if we get another one or whatever is supposed to happen yeah we're supposed to get titanic capybara this time so yeah 36 billion looks like what it's going to be selling for and that's kind of insane and i will take it not gonna lie 
But there we go. Boom, it just sold. And Titanic Capybara, come on. Please be in my inventory. And no, the only Capybara I have is Gort. The next myth says if you say summon on top of the huge Atron, you get a huge Angelus. For this, we're gonna have to go back into the main game. Okay, here we are at the huge Atron, and I think if we get on top and say summon, we are supposed to get the huge Angelus. Oh my god, no way we got one! Nah, I'm joking. We we didn't actually get one. I just kind of like had this one. So yeah, that myth is a bust. The next myth says there is a secret room behind the auction board. Oh my gosh, we're gonna have to go all the way back to the or trading plaza to check this one out. Alright, let's go ahead and check it out behind the auction board. I think I can get up here and I think this is the auction board, right? Yeah, that does not seem to be a secret room. I mean, maybe you could like look into there, but I don't think there is. Let's go to free camp to get a better view. And yeah, no secret room anywhere to be found. So yeah, that myth is a bust. The next myth says in the normal game, there's a food stand under the daycare. Now, I've heard about this before, but I am not 100% sure if it is actually real. I have not looked at it myself. So, let's go ahead, go back into the normal world and head under the daycare to see if it actually exists. Alright, here we are inside of the normal game and here's the daycare. So, if I go in free cam and go under the map, you guys will see a food stand right here. Now, I was a little curious to see where it goes up to and if you go straight up it literally comes right here so it's a little bit weird on the positioning and i don't know if it's actually ever going to be used but who knows maybe we can feed our pets soon at some point to speed up the uh daycare the next myth says there is a secret diamond fountain under the trading plaza let's go ahead and test this out by going to the trading plaza once again okay so here we are in the trading plaza and let's go in free cam once again under the map and yes as you guys can see there is actually a diamond uh, fountain i don't know why this is here Honestly, I thought that would activate whenever you actually started a diamond party. And yeah, it does not activate sadly, which kind of sucks. But I wish it did because that would kind of make it cool. But hey, I guess enjoy the diamond party, everyone. Here, you know what? Just for the fun, let's go ahead and do a couple more diamond parties in the server. Make everybody full of diamonds. There y'all go. The next myth says, if you say Lord Preston three times, you may get admin. Even though I think this is probably not true. Let's go ahead and say Lord Preston three times. Boom. All right, here we go. One, two, and three times. Yeah, I, I did not get any admin. And bro, I bet everybody in this server thinks I'm crazy. Well, time to run. The next myth says there is a secret building outside of the Doodle World border. I've not heard of this one yet, but it could be true. I don't know. Let's go go to the Doodle shop. And I'm not sure where I should exactly be looking at because the Doodle World is pretty big. And wait, I mean, I, I do see an area. I mean, it's just this though. I don't know if this is what they're talking about. If this is a secret building because it just leads to that chest, to be honest. It's nothing wrong really too secret but hey let's look back here maybe there is something we're missing what in the world is in the ground here oh wait never mind that's just the chest thing and yeah i do not see in any other building but technically there is one under the ground so i guess you could say that myth is true i don't really know i mean the door literally is right here you can go straight to it it's not like it's anything secret and if you go in here you can literally go in free cam back out and we are at the same spot the next myth says if you are subscribed to numerous you will get a free huge bet here let's go ahead and ask this person are you subscribed and if they are well they get a free huge bet that's how it works yes they said they are subscribed so let's go ahead and give them a pretty nice huge bet let me see which ones i have signed and you know what let's go ahead and give them a rainbow huge jolly penguin why not i hope you enjoy it thank you so much for being sub they said i love your vid. Thank you. 
So yeah, subscribe and you might get a free huge as well. The next myth says there is a secret laser gun that is in the game. Yes, this myth is true. I will put up a screenshot on the screen because I actually managed to get in the game with one of the developers, aka Connor. And he had the secret weapon in which it literally unequipped my pets. Like, no joke. If I can put a clip in this video, I definitely will. It's me. It, literally all of my stuff just get, like, removed. Yeah, he's literally unequipping my pets to leave me alone <laughs> he is chasing me down oh my god but basically with this thing every time he shot me with the laser gun it would unequip my pets which is pretty cool and it also fling you around and apparently cost 300,000 robux so yeah that myth is true but the next myth says if you leave the game once you click auction your huge will be doubled slash duped now, I think there is a message regarding this in the pro server or in the trading plaza, I should say. And let's go ahead and test it out because I'm not sure. Okay, here we are. We finally loaded in. And let's go just try listing a random pet like this Hell Rock. And if I put it for one gem, as you guys can see, it says auction will proceed even if you leave or server restarts. You will get the rewards when you rejoin. Are you still sure? That basically means that if you leave the game and your pet may manages to sell you will still get the rewards and if it doesn't you will just get back your pay also i'm feeling a little lucky so let's go use the last bit of gems we have to open these little gifts and hopefully we'll get something i don't know will we get anything no we got a cloud cat amazing just what we've always wanted um but here let's go ahead and open one more please bro at least give me something like a huge i don't know i will take anything and okay we got a knife cat terrible the next myth says that if you use the daycare, any pet will basically do the same. Let's go ahead and test it out. And I think if I go ahead and enroll one of these pets, let's see, 44 million as the cap for diamonds. And we're just going to go off of diamonds because why not? But if we do a normal one, yeah, it literally goes off the same amount, it looks like. Let's go ahead and try this pet. Yeah, it's still literally the same amount. What in the world? Maybe let's go ahead and try, I don't know, a normal version of it. And yeah, it still does the same. Let's go ahead and try like a terrible pet. How much does it do? Oh my god, it literally still does the same amount of difference. So yeah, don't even need to put your best pets in here because every pet does the same. And I think this is the same for whatever currency you're trying to get. I could be wrong, but yeah, it, it seems to basically be the same for everything. So that myth is true. The next myth says you can glitch inside of the bank. Let's go try it right in the trading plaza and see if we can glitch in. I mean, I think I used to be able to actually do this with the hoverboard. And yeah, you can literally glitch inside of the bank as you guys can see. So yeah, if you guys have a hoverboard and you want to get in here, you definitely can. But uh, I, I don't know how I'm going to get out, bro. But yeah, it seems like that myth is true. Now for my next myth, it says that if you rain two times, there will be a secret door behind the VIP area inside of the gift. So for us to be able to do that, we do need some diamonds. And it looks like we have already gotten some off of selling some signed Hellrogs. So yeah, let's go ahead and try raining two times just like so. Uh, here we go. That's one. And that is a, I think, second one if it lets me do it. Yeah, there we go. That is a second rain. And let's go ahead and see if there is a secret door. And no, I do not see one. Well, there goes 100 billion diamonds. But yeah, that myth is also a bust. The next myth says that there is a brand new setting inside of the game that allows you to stop mounting your titanics. Now this is actually true. If you guys go to the settings and you have titanics, you can normally equip your titanics, right? Like you can equip them, ride them, and all that good stuff. But with this brand new setting, you do not have to ride them even if you spam click it. Which is very nice and very helpful for people who have Titanics. And this is actually a suggestion that I made and one of the devs saw and added it. So thank you, Connor, for adding it. The next myth says that you can go over the 10 trillion gem cap using auction. Now, this is actually true. Believe it or not, I got over 10 trillion gems on my account like at once by using the auctions. 
if you guys have max pets inside of the auction or i mean max gems and you place a pet on there for i don't know let's say like to 50 trillion or 50 billion and somebody buys it you will have 10 trillion and 50 billion at once but yeah, those are all the myths for this video, and it looks like my Titanic Red Balloon Cat is going to be arriving tomorrow. And some people's has apparently arrived today. I had no idea that they arrived today, but yeah, it's going up. It literally was 7 earlier. Now it is 8, so people are slowly getting the balloon cats. But hopefully I will have mine by tomorrow and I will be able to make a video for you guys. If you enjoyed this video, click on the video on the screen. It's one of my best videos yet and I promise you will enjoy it. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out.